never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever everyone it's Caitlin welcome back to my channel today is a fun video because I am going to give you my opinion on this right here this is the Dyson Airwrap complete I'm going to kind of show you what it comes with I'm going to show you how I do my hair and then I'm going to give you my little review on it so if you want to see that then just keep on watching this is what it looks like it comes in this nice little box you open it up you've got this little cover right here and then on the inside you have all of your attachments so these are the attachments you have your pre-styling tool you have your four barrels you have the 1.6 inch ones the 1.2 inch ones then you have your two little brushes you have the soft smoothing brush and then the firm smoothing brush. One is going to be for like thicker hair. One's going to be for those of you who have a little bit thinner, more naturally straight hair. Then you have the last attachment and it's the round volumizing brush. So that's what comes in the box. And now I'm going to show you how I use it to get my hair looking like this. So here we go. I am going to kind of take you through me doing my hair and showing you how to use it because it does take a second to figure it out. I've only used it once, so I'm still learning, but I feel like I kind of have it down enough that I can show you guys in a video, but my hair is wet. So I like just got out of the shower maybe like 10 minutes ago and just brushed my hair and everything so that is the state of my hair my ends dry really fast so some of my ends are actually kind of almost dry but i'm going to show you how i use it it is important that when you use the like this tool the air wrap tool that your hair is actually damp so that will be important when we get there but first i'm going to clip my hair into sections and then i will show you how to get started Never up, never down, never. Okay, like I said, my hair is quite wet. So the first thing that I'm going to use is the pre-styling tool because this will actually help get your hair like a little bit more dry so that you can actually use the other pieces. So here we go. Like a theme in a song, clever. Feeling high, feeling low at the same time. Feel so right, then I'm wrong. Hoping I'll be fine, but I get up. Okay, so now my hair is a little bit more dry. I'm going to use the firm styling brush. I always do. I never think. I always do. Never thought I wouldn't jump. Oh, what a fool. But if I fall, I will get up again. Oh, right, now I feel like my hair is damp. So I'm going to take this off and I'm going to use the 1.6 inch barrels so I'm going to make sure that I'm picking the one that has the arrows going this way. I'm going to pop that on and what you do is you simply take a strand like this so I have my strand right here and you will put it on And we'll fix them when we're done. So it kind of takes a second for me to get the hang of actually getting it on the strand. But once you get that done, then it's pretty easy. Stronger than I ever been. I 
there we go and for like the last like 10 seconds like after i feel like the actual hair is dry then i turn it to the cool setting so it dries the curl which kind of locks it in place so that you're not doing all of this and then not getting any results gonna brush them out or do anything like that until later because I don't want the curl to fall too much so now we've got to change this piece out move it to the other side one and do this side I can see everything clearer trying to fly cause I'm light as a feather but I can't hide like afterwards and it is quite poofy so we're gonna come through it Now that my hair is all done, this is what it looks like. The only difference from the last clip to this clip is that I did kind of straighten this portion of my hair just because it was just a tad bit too poofy for me. And then I straightened my baby hairs a little bit as well because those always kind of curl up. But something actually pretty exciting is that the last clip was last night. This is the next day and this is what my hair still looks like. It still has a bunch of curl to it. Honestly, like, I didn't do anything to my hair this morning. Like, I haven't even brushed it yet. So, this is pretty impressive. I'm really happy with how the air wrap dries and kind of styles my hair. It's so easy for me. And, yeah, I'm pretty pumped about it. So, I'm going to go through three things. I'm going to go through kind of what I think about it. And then I'm going to go through the like price and then I'm gonna go through who I think actually really needs the Dyson Airwrap. So starting with my opinion, I like I said just two seconds ago, I absolutely love it. I love how it turns out and it literally took me 30 minutes. 30 minutes. That is unheard of for me. So my hair is naturally like kind of wavy and my process for drying my hair, which I will link down below because I do have a video about it, is I dry my hair with a round brush, then I straighten it, and then I curl it. So it takes quite a minute to actually get it to a point that looks like this. I would say on a regular basis, it probably takes at least an hour if not more, normally I have my mom dry and straighten my hair, which takes about 45 minutes. And then later, either like the next day or just whenever I feel like actually doing my hair, I will curl it, which can take anywhere from like 10 to 20 minutes. It just depends on what I'm curling my hair with and like, am I actually trying to go fast? But 30 minutes is seriously unheard of and I love it. I absolutely love it. It's kind of fun to use. It really doesn't take that long. I have heard that once you get used to using it, it will go faster, which I'm also really excited about. I can't imagine cutting my time down anymore from 30 minutes, but if I can, then I'm going to be all about that. 
it is a lot of attachment so as far as travel goes i'm not really sure how that would work because for me like you saw when i dry my hair i use the pre-styling tool i use the firm smoothing brush and i use the barrels so that's kind of a lot of attachments to bring especially if i'm going to also bring my straightener to straighten my baby hairs so i'm not really sure how travel would go with this but i will keep you updated on like instagram what i think about travel with this and kind of give you my opinion whenever i actually do travel with it if I do travel with it, 90% of the time I never travel with a hair dryer either because I normally don't wash my hair while we're gone unless we're gone for a really long time. So I will keep you updated on that part. But other than that, I really love it. I, For someone like me, it's totally worth the price because I will probably never pick up my hair dryer again. And the only reason that I'm going to use my straightener and my curling wand is like for touch-ups which is pretty fantastic like i love that also this is supposed to be really good for it's not supposed to use as much heat as a normal like hair dryer and straightening tool or curling wand so as somebody who colors their hair especially colors their hair blonde I know I'm damaging my hair on a pretty regular basis. So being able to use something that's going to cut down on the damage and be a little bit more gentle is definitely a plus for me. As far as price goes, it's expensive. It really truly is an expensive product. But like any Dyson tool, we have a Dyson um, vacuum and we used to have a Dyson uh, like fan. Both of those things were absolutely amazing. We our dry our dryer our vacuum cleaner is literally perfect it's it's amazing and this is just like any other Dyson product it's absolutely amazing it works super well they really do know what they're doing when it comes to stuff like this so well yes it is a little bit more expensive I do think if this is something that you know you're going to use on a regular basis and you know you need in your life, then I do believe that it is kind of worth the price because if you think about it, a hair dryer, at least the one that I have is around $150. So knock $150 off of here. And if you don't need to buy another straightener or another curling wand then knock that price off and then knock off the price of like a round brush I know this is a regular brush but when I dry my hair I have to use a round brush because if I don't it won't dry my hair straight cut that off so it is expensive but I do think that if you're somebody who really really wants it then just put money back each week that you're like Dyson air wrap fund because I think that if you do that and you save up for it, then you're going to be like, oh, it was totally worth the five some. I'll put the price over here because now I can't remember. It's different. It's whatever it is with tax. So it's different with tax than like the regular price. But anywho, I really like it. I do think it's worth it. Now let's talk about who actually needs this. So for me, I have naturally wavy hair. I will insert a picture. I think I already did, but I'll insert it again. Just so you can see what my hair naturally looks like. And that is without doing anything to my hair. Without drying it, straightening it, curling it, nothing. So to be able to go from that to this and it only take 30 minutes is amazing for me. So I feel like if you have naturally wavy hair or if you have naturally like kind of really thick hair that just takes a long time to dry, then this is a fantastic investment. If you have really, really thin hair and it only takes you two seconds to fix your hair from being sopping wet out of the shower to being ready to walk out the door, then I'm not necessarily certain that this is your most wise purchase. But then again, it does have the property of being better for your hair than your normal 
styling tools so in that sense I would say that it is kind of worth it but I don't necessarily think that I would buy it if I didn't have like thicker and like wavier hair because I don't think I could see the benefits but for me I see the benefits so if you have hair that's similar to mine I highly recommend I think that it is 100% fantastic and I will keep using it try to get faster at using it because like I said it only takes 30 minutes but if I can cut that down even more even just 10 more minutes then that would be seriously amazing and then I will keep you guys updated on Instagram on how it travels I am going somewhere in January only for a weekend but I might take it with me just so I can kind of see what it's like and see how it's how it is to travel with it and I will keep you updated then so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and I will see you in the next video bye